Today's technology evolves with almost incomprehensible speed. Ever new, ever exciting, with endlessly fascinating stories to explore. Thus the birth of overexposure. Hey, this is Jeff Baraka for Overexposure TV and Watch312.com. I'm here at Helix Camera and Video at 310 South Racine in Chicago. I'm talking to Senior Manager Jose Perez about digital photography. Let me ask you, a lot of professionals were and still are a little hesitant to fully accept digital photography. Why is that? Well, the biggest problem, they're purists like me. We still look at the negatives and the quality of the image given by those, those tools. And the old guys like myself who refuse to accept fully the technologies here uh, are just falling by the wayside, losing the business. Is it a question of aesthetics? Are the results just that different? The results are different. I look at the image of a film or a digital image and you can tell the difference. The amount of film we're selling nowadays to what we used to sell 20 years ago is we're talking 5% of certainly, what we used to sell. Certainly, so it, it kind of parallels the whole audio thing, yeah. like MP3s exactly. now, and, and exactly. the lack of audio fidelity, yeah. sure, no. I mean, and right now, I mean, we got have telephones that give you 5 million pixels, certainly. images. Certainly. Now, quality-wise, it's excellent, but you still have to understand how to expose and focus properly. Certainly. Many amateurs might not see the advantage in doing business at a store like Helix. Is that a misconception, and why? It's a very big misconception. Hmm. Uh, understanding technology is not that simple. Okay. And they figure this new technology should be easy to use. Hmm. Everything has a learning curve, okay? Uh, we have not changed photography, for example. That hasn't changed in years. Hmm. What has changed is what we recorded on. Uh, you still need to understand how to work the camera, apertures, uh, shutter speeds, uh, focus, sure. framing, you know, all those little details. Please give us an overview of the range of products that you have here for uh, the consumer and I guess the prosumer and then the professional high-end stuff. Well, nowadays it's incredible what's available. I mean, we have phones with 5 million pixels or higher, okay? We have point-and-shoot cameras, consumer end cameras. Under $300, they'll give you 40 frames per second to analyze your golf swing, your baseball swing, your soccer strike. I mean, how many, when was the last time you, you were able to capture that at an amateur consumer level? Okay. Now we also have, uh, for example, the, the higher end cameras that go up to 30, 40 million pixels. I mean, how many pixels do you need? How many more do you need? So there you have it, the ever expanding world of digital photography, right here at Helix, camera and video. I'm Jeff Baraka for Overexposure TV and Watch 312.